Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly of lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. I am trying to get to 500 subscribers by May 1st and I definitely need your help with that. Today I have Beachly, which is a beach-themed subscription, if you couldn't tell by the name. It is $99 per season plus $4.95 in shipping. And obviously if you do an annual membership you will get a little bit of a discount on that. I am currently a seasonal member just because at the moment they don't have much in terms of customization or any other additional perks for being an annual member and I don't think you have the ability to skip boxes so I'll have to double check on that but I think that is one of the reasons that I'm sticking with my seasonal membership for now. This is the second time that I've had the opportunity to open Beachly and I think it's kind of funny I did notice that they are actually using a distributor to ship the boxes from the East Coast. So even though Beachley is sort of headquartered right up the road from me in Carlsbad, the items are being sent to the East Coast, packaged up, and then sent back to me here in Southern California. That said, I it's no fault of Beachley's, but they did deliver my box in not the best of condition. It was actually much worse than this when it was all wet from getting sat right in the rain. Um, so the entire side flap was totally open. I peeked inside to make sure that it didn't look like anything was damaged or missing and it didn't look like there was anything damaged or missing because everything seems to have been in plastic bags. But we will double check as we open up the box. I did also remove the product pamphlet because it needed to get dried out a little bit, but we'll use that as well as we open and see what items Beachley has put together for us. Now I will say it is a pricier box and because they are a funded company, that just means that they have investors. It's not like a one woman show out of someone's home. Um, I am looking for a, definitely a higher value than what I paid. My best comparison for Beachley is like Rachel Zoe's box of style which is also $99 per season and we almost consistently get $500 in value from that box. I'm not saying that I'm looking for five times the value from Beachley but certainly a little bit more than I would from a smaller subscription company just because they have that uh, funding and buying power and that's how we get some really awesome items for this reduced price. So let's open it up and see what we've got inside. Now I will say I do think it's nice that they do spoilers. I had already paid for my box by the time I saw all the things that were inside. I think I had seen one item and that is the first item that is on the top. So let me just open up the tissue here. It does on the inside cover say, Hello Sunshine, by ordering this box, you've helped keep a beach clean and pristine. Big thanks for supporting us and our partner, Heal the Bay. As always, don't forget to reuse or recycle. I will definitely not be reusing this box since it is so damaged there on the corner. But inside we have the Laguna Tote. So this was their first spoiler. It kind of looks like now that I'm flipping through the pamphlet that they actually did all of the items from like greatest to least value. I do appreciate that they include the retail values even though I think that sometimes when they are working with sort of bigger, more well-known companies, sometimes those prices might be a little bit elevated if they're like companies that also appear in department stores, for example, like this tote. So let me open it up and show it to you. So it is in this like tie-dye print with like a royal blue and then we've got these nice thick wide faux leather straps and that also has the faux leather bottom. It is really nice. It feels like a good quality canvas. I like that it's kind of soft and slouchy which means that it would pack really well if you were taking it on vacation. Sometimes when we get really structured bags like straw bags and stuff I'm like how am I going to take that on vacation? It's just going to take up way too much space. And then it does have this fun bright tassel detail which I'm sure you could remove and put on something else if you wanted to. In terms of closure, it doesn't look like it has like a snap or a zipper. It does have one inside pocket, is not a zipper pocket, but it's just kind of open. So you could put like your card case or some smaller items in there so they're not floating around. But this looks like the kind of bag that you would actually want to have some smaller pouches in or maybe like a clutch or something. And then it does have kind of a shinier material on the inside. So I think you can probably wipe it clean if you need to which is great because with those faux leather details you wouldn't be able to necessarily throw this in the wash which is kind of a bummer but um, I do like I said this is a better quality than I was expecting it should be good quality though because the retail value on this is $130 the Laguna tote by Lou and L 
Showcasing the perfect mix of Southern California style with Wanderlust vibes, we are excited to partner with Los Angeles-based Lou and L this spring season to bring you the Laguna Tote. The Laguna Tote is tie-dyed to perfection and ready to complement any spring-worthy outfit as the weather starts to turn. I just noticed, the editor and me noticed that they used the wrong compliment. They used the one with an I instead of the one with an E. It says vegan leather shoulder straps and bottom, bright multicolored tassels, and a fully wipeable lining. This beautiful bag was inspired by SoCal Living and is perfectly designed to take to the beach as well as becoming your new everyday favorite. It says the Laguna Tote is part of the seasonal membership spring box only. So I'm curious to know if maybe the annual members got something else. Um, interesting. I have seen this bag in, I think, Lou and L's media, and I did notice that it also comes in like a black and white print, which I personally, even though I, I, I think the tie dye is cute, I think I would have gotten more use out of the black and kind of cream print, just because then it can kind of go with almost any outfit versus the blue is a very, very bright blue. But I will say that this whole box um, is in the color scheme of blue, like aquas and blues and like cornflower blues. And so I do think they did a good job in terms of curating it. And of course, you can kind of throw all those blues together and it looks like a, a well-designed outfit. So that said, let's get into, they said not one, but two apparel items in this box. So the next one is this. It was also the second spoiler that they released um, in their social media, and this is the Hawaiian Blooms Kimono by Known Supply. Now, Known Supply is a company that I became aware of through Causebox, so they definitely do a lot of work with subscription companies, and this retails at $59. It says, this season we've partnered with Known Supply to bring you this Hawaiian-inspired kimono. Known Supply not only makes high-quality and stylish clothing and accessories, but also builds their business on a powerful and meaningful mission, ethical and sustainable fashion. Every piece produced by Known Supply is produced ethically, sustainably, and passionately. How cool is that? It says, with a soft, slouchy feel, tropical Hawaiian print, and yes, pockets, this kimono will be your new spring staple. So, well, I know this is the spring box. It's feeling pretty summery to me, especially with this, like, kind of cover-up. Now, I will say, and I'll show you the image of it here in the pamphlet just because you won't be able to see it in its entirety when I hold it up, but it looks kind of boxy to me. Um, and also, <laughs> when I first saw the spoiler for it, I was like, it kind of looks like a Trader Joe's shirt, but um, I am sort of surprised by the material, and I'll hold it up to you so maybe you guys can see it. So it's actually almost like a thin, soft t-shirt material, which is not what I was expecting. So it's actually going to be a little bit nicer in terms of how it drapes. Um, I think I got the medium large size even though I'm pretty sure like there's a lot of uh, room for error in that it's not the kind of style like it's not the cut that I would normally pick for myself um, and again I like blue and I get how it goes with like a beachy theme but I tend to wear more warm colors or good old-fashioned black but we'll see if I use this on hopefully my trip to Hawaii back home to Maui isn't canceled everything else seems to be getting canceled but fingers crossed crossed we like figure out what's going on with this coronavirus thing and I get to go home and give these things a try if not it will be summer here soon and I will be able to use them then but like I said I am surprised this was like one of the items that I wasn't super excited about when I saw it but I am surprised by the material I think it's nice and soft it's actually very thin so it could actually be kind of flowier I thought it was actually going to be like that kind of cotton material that men's Hawaiian shirts are made out of but I'm happy to say that it is not so those apparel items are the kind of things that I might eventually feature in my Instagram when I get a chance to wear them. So if you haven't followed me over on Instagram yet, please do. It's just Maui underscore Noel. I'll leave the link for that below. So hopefully you can join me there and kind of see me using some of these items out in the real world. And then the next apparel item, it looks like I said, we are going kind of in reverse order in terms of the most expensive item all the way down to the least expensive item with one exception, which I'll talk about when we get there. So let me open this up. So this is a little tank top and I'll hold it up so you can see what it says. It says sun kissed and it's just kind of got that like bright floral pattern. It's got some like hibiscus flowers and some like monstera leaves in the background. I do like the color and then I'll show you even closer. It's kind of like almost that like heathered material. So it's not just like a solid. It's kind of pretty. I do like that it is a v-neck because that's sort of different. A lot of the times 
when you're getting tank tops these days. They're all that kind of low scoop neck and a very, very thin strap. So sometimes it's tricky to find the right bra strap to wear with it. But this is a little bit thicker on the shoulders. It's kind of a risky move. It kind of tells me what their demographic is because I know that a lot of ladies don't like to show their arms. So for them to include a tank top, especially in a spring box, not even necessarily a summer box, means to me that they have kind of a younger demographic. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, the retail value on this Noah Sunkiss Tank by Fresh Produce is $44.50 says there's nothing like that first warm spring day when you can put the winter sweater away and trade it in for a cool and comfy tank. That's why we teamed up with the beloved beach brand Fresh Produce to create the Noah Sun Kiss tank exclusive to the Beachley tribe. Now they did have a Fresh Produce item in the last box. It was like a little necklace. I wasn't super enthralled with the quality of it. I think they do more in terms of apparel, so I'm excited to get an apparel item. It says enjoy the beautiful bright sea glass color, v-neck silhouette, and super fun knotted twisty tail at the hem. So I did notice that now I do actually wear a lot of tank tops over like workout clothes and just with shorts if I'm on vacation because I like how they look um, and I will often knot the front of them just to give them a little bit more shape but I'm curious to see how this like little twist detail winds up looking if it just looks like you just have like a bunchy shirt at the bottom or if it kind of like puffs out there and kind of gives you more muffin top than necessary so I'm kind of interested I kind of like it to be a little more DIY when it comes to knotting a tank um, and it will also kind of make it like hard to pack without like kind of crinkling it because it does look like it is even though it is a nice soft material it does look like it is kind of wrinkle prone so we'll give it a shot you can kind of see that knot to tail a little bit better here so it's not even like a knot where there's ends showing it's like a little twist um, so we'll see what it's what it looks like when I give it a shot it does look like the right size to me so hopefully everything works together I guess maybe with the tank top, that's one of the reasons that they also gave us the cover up that then does give your sleeves, give you sleeves to cover up your shoulders. So that was that was wise. The next item is the Speakwa Cruiser Wireless Bluetooth Speaker, and it comes in this little box that looks like a little soap box to me. And this retails for $25. So let me open this guy up. So inside it does come with like a little wrist strap. It comes with the little charging cable and then it's really cute actually. I think this is adorable. So it's got the Beachly uh, palm on it. You can kind of see there and it's in this pretty kind of minty aqua and it's like rubberized on the outside and the power button is right here. And then you can kind of see that this is where you're going to poke this out and you can charge it up there. So actually we have like a really hefty waterproof uh, speaker that we use when we go to the beach sometimes because it can't get damaged by a sand or anything. But just the other day when we were in the car and I realized I didn't bring like the dongle to adapt and use my phone uh, in the car, I wish I had one of these little speakers with me so that we could listen to our true crime podcast together. By the way, I love true crime podcasts, so does my husband. If you are a true crime podcast fan, let me know in the comments below what you listen to. Uh, I would love to share and hear about that with you. Um, so let's see what it says about this. Like I said, $25 performance style and simplicity welcome to more music more places the more music more places movement with simple controls and convenient streaming technology the cruiser bluetooth speaker by speakwa is designed to bring good vibes to all of life's adventures cute and portable yet packing a mighty punch this guy doesn't skimp on sound and pocket friendly design delivers powerful audio while the built-in mic allows you to take speakerphone calls on the go that's kind of cool um, with up to five hours of listening per battery charge, you can keep your tunes going and the good vibes alive. And Speakwa even incorporated our exclusive Beachley Palm design, making this unique to the Beachley tribe. So it's kind of funny because if you took a call on speaker and it was on here, you'd still have to be using the mic to talk back on your phone. So I probably wouldn't use it for that unless I was already using the speaker and like the Bluetooth just came over that way if I was in my car. I do like that it's like you can something you can put in your purse or your pocket. Although I will say I am one of those people that does not appreciate when people are hiking and just playing their music or their podcast so that everyone else has to listen to them too. Because it's like when you're out in nature, you kind of want to have some of that peace and quiet. So be careful when you use these, you guys, if it's not in the privacy of your own car or your own home. If you're at the beach, keep your music like to a 
relatively mellow level so that you're not disturbing everybody else around you and you just have this cacophony of everybody using their Bluetooth speakers all at once. All right, that was my PSA for today. <laughs> Let's keep going, you guys. So this is the item I was talking about when I said that for the most part in their pamphlet, they were going in price order in terms of decreasing price. Um, but it's because this was a replacement item. So I did see all of the spoilers in the A Beachly Facebook group. And there was initially supposed to be a five bracelet set. And it was by a company that had a Hawaiian name. I don't remember it off the bat. But I believe the retail value on that five bracelet set was like 20 to $30 or maybe even more than that. And it was kind of fun. It was like mixed metals, like some had charms, some didn't. It kind of looked like a mess to me in terms of having five different clasps to do and not get tangled. But um, what we wound up with instead was a Pura Vida bracelet, which you're probably familiar with. Pura Vida is a great company. I have a lot of their jewelry. Um, this is a $10 bracelet though. It looks like you could get it in two colors, kind of a brownie orange color or this pretty aqua. I like that I got this one just because it matches everything else. Let me show you the little Plumeria charm that's on here in silver. So that's pretty cute. I do like that. It says, inspired by the tropical flowers used to make lays in Hawaii, this Plumeria bracelet features a bitty braided band and dangling silver Plumeria charm. Add one to your collection and say aloha to this perfect style staple. About the brand, you asked and we listened. Pura Vida, one of the most requested land brands from our Beachly members, has done it again with the simplistic style for a sustainable cause, making this a standout addition to the spring box. Now, I will say that other people besides me noticed this swap out um, when they got their boxes, and the reason I noticed was I the reason I noticed that the box is coming from the East Coast because I was surprised that I was getting my box well after a bunch of East Coast people. But anyway, some of those East Coast people also noticed that they swapped things out. They must have done it soon enough that they fixed it in their pamphlet but someone finally reached out to Beachley to ask what happened to the five bracelet set and Beachley said that there were like some shipping delays maybe it had to do with all of the global uh, chaos that's going on but that they would send them the five bracelet set later on now I don't know if that means that it's going to be one of the items in the summer box or if they're actually going to send everybody another little package with that five bracelet set I'm guessing that's not going to be the case simply because they did not note it anywhere themselves in their social media and I feel like it was just everybody else being like super hyper vigilant about it and being like hey what happened to our bracelets that you said we were getting so I'm very interested to see what what pans out in that way there is one more item and it is the hibiscus and grapefruit salt scrub by Ely scrub so it comes in this a little bag it does have it looks like a resealable pouch and then you can kind of open up the bottom here so it would stand up it's just kind of this like paper pouch though so it's not gonna last for very many showers there's not a ton in here I think it's 3.5 ounces so maybe like a couple of baths or showers. I'm excited by the scent and the fact that it says that it is made locally on Kauai, which is where you want to be getting your Hawaiian salt from. Hawaiian salt is good for your skin and your soul. Um, glowing skin is always in. What better way to scrub off winter and say hello to dewy spring skin than with this nourishing salt scrub straight from our friends in Kauai. With hibiscus to tone and hydrate and grapefruit to leave skin with youthful elasticity. Lightly mist skin with water and apply the scrub with circular motions. Allow sitting on the skin for one to two minutes. Rinse off and continue with your normal shower routine. So you do it early on and kind of slough off all the ucky stuff and then soap up and do all of your extra moisturizing things. So that's cool. I don't use a lot of scrubs to be honest with you. I probably should use more of them and exfoliate more often. But I'm excited to use this one just because it is from Hawaii and I am loving the scent sound really nice to me hibiscus and grapefruit so let me know what you guys think about this box I think it is well curated I appreciate all of the colors sort of going together um, my least favorite item is probably that cover-up just because it's not a style I would normally pick out for myself but I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of it the material of it but let me know what you think about the value so just doing a quick little add up here. Like I think that the bracelets, like I said, originally would have been like another 20 to $30, but adding everything up, it looks like we're getting 
close to $300, like a little bit under. It probably would have been $300 in retail value if we had gotten the other bracelet set. So that's definitely well over that $99. But again, like if I'm comparing it to something like Rachel Zoe's box of style where I get like $500 worth, um, it's, it's still a pricey box. If it's the only box that you do, I think it's a great box. I think that these are all really useful items. And for the most part, I think that they're sort of like timeless in terms of like age. Like they don't necessarily feel super young to me, except for maybe the Puerto Vita bracelet. And that could just be because it was like a last minute replacement. I do love the tote. I think it's great. I'm excited about that. Um, we'll see how the tank fits and how I like that little knot detail. But let me know, you guys. Have a great day and see you soon.